everyone, it's me, Lisa DeFazio. I wanted to talk today a little bit about food trends in 2011. There is so much going on with food. We see all these reality shows about food, Top Chef, Food Network, Chef Challenges. So there's a lot of interesting things going on that you should keep your eye out in the markets and in restaurants. First of all, what's gonna be happening in the workplace, it's, there's gonna be a trend towards healthier options. We've talked about the school systems and what's gonna be going on there. There's gonna be more salad bars, more vegetables. They're gonna be putting things in a lot more beautiful plates like the salads to make things more interesting and even using color-coded serving spoons. So it's, if it's really high in fat, it's gonna be like a red spoon so you can think twice. So companies are getting a lot more savvy with that because healthier employees mean lower insurance premiums for the companies. Becoming vegetarian is also big. So I have my beans and rice here, vegetarian beans. Everything's going green these days and it's all about um, decreasing the carbon footprint. So becoming a vegetarian is healthier for the planet because we don't have to raise as much cattle and on and on and on. Another trend with following a diet guideline is gluten-free. These days, everybody is gluten-free this and gluten-free that. Now, gluten is a protein found in wheat, and some people have a serious medical condition that they can't digest it. But many people today, because it's trendy and the celebs are doing it, just decide, hey, I'm gonna go gluten-free. But you really don't need to if you don't have an allergic reaction to it. But you can check out some of the gluten-free products. They're all over the market. Another trend is green tea powder. There's an extract in green tea that they're going to make into a powder because it has a lot of beneficial antioxidants. What you're gonna see this in is in pastries and cookies and a lot of different products with this green tea extract and this green tea powder. Another idea that we're gonna find not so much in your food, but in hair conditioners and beauty products, it's called functional foods and functional products using things like acai berries or avocados in anti-aging products is gonna be very popular. Nestle, in fact, has merged to have this huge division specifically for healthcare and functional foods because there's gonna be a trend with everybody wanting natural products and making your food work for you. I've talked about it before, but coconut water is gonna be the hit this year. All the celebrities are drinking it. Many celebs, including Madonna, have invested in the company. It's a natural beverage loaded with potassium. It's gonna be the hot drink of the year, so keep your eye on that. And also beer. Beer has become sort of the new fancy wine. I think with the economy, people are tightening up on their budget, and they're coming out with a lot of beer experts and specifically designed and flavored beers to go with certain foods. So these are some of the trends that are going on. I'm gonna have a list as usual on lisadefazio.com. Again, as I mentioned earlier as well, go check out thedietsquad.com, my new site, if you want me to be your dietitian. Thanks guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.